Good morning, everyone. My name is Lohia KJR. I am working as an assistant professor of English at Government Postgraduate College, Sunkal Vidri. So today, in this first online session, we will discuss about the syllabus pattern as well as the question paper pattern of BA third semester basic English syllabus. So once again, I welcome you all. Let me share the slides. <clears throat> As you all know, basic English paper, it carries 100 marks. And out of 100 marks, you are going to write the examination only for 80 marks. And remaining 20 marks, that is for your internal assessment. So your teacher will give you internal marks on the basis of your performance in the academic activities uh, during that particular semester. So what type of questions will be asked in the main examination then? So in your main examination question paper, 40 marks will be allotted for the drama that is prescribed for BA third semester. The name of the drama is Sirisampige. It is a famous drama written by a well-known playwright Chandrasekhar Kamba. So 40 marks has been allotted to this drama. And remaining 40 marks, the questions will be on grammar and composition. So now, so we are going to discuss about the question paper pattern. Which types of questions will be asked in your question paper? First section in your question paper is objective type questions. They will ask you 10 objective type questions and each question carries one marks. So, and you have to remember that there is no options in the first section. You have to attend all the 10 questions. Objective type questions means you have to answer those questions in a word or a sentence. Second section is questions on annotations. So what do you mean by annotations? They will give four important dialogues from the drama series MPA. So you have to explain the dialogues according to their context in the drama. So what you have to write? First, you have to write who has delivered the dialogue, to whom it has been delivered, and in which context that particular dialogue arises in the drama. So these are the few things you have to include in annotations. And they will give you four annotations. Out of four, you have to write two. Okay? So each one carries five marks and that will be for 10 marks. And third section, it is an essay type question. So an essay type question will be asked on, I mean, will be asked on drama. So they will give you two questions, two essay type questions, and you have to attend one essay type questions and that will be for 10 marks. Fourth section is short notes on the play. So they will give you four short notes. 
they may give you the names of the characters or they may give you the incidents that has uh, that have taken place in the drama so you have to explain those characters or incidents so that is for 10 marks here they will give you four short notes out of four you have to write two so each one carries five marks and that will become 10 marks so if you had all these four sections it will become 40 marks so first section is over and moving to my next slide so next part is about grammar so the fifth section is close test so what do you mean by close test it is very simple a paragraph will be given in your question paper and there will be 10 blanks in that paragraph. So what is your job there? You have to fill up those blanks by using appropriate words. So don't get confused. They will give you 10 optional words at the bottom of that paragraph in your question paper. Atu words garana a question paper ali kotirta. Okay, they will give you 10 words and you have to fill up the right word for the right sentence. So that is your task. And the sixth one, sixth section, pair of words. So what do you mean by pair of words? Pair of words means words which have similar pronunciation but different in their meaning. For example, principal, 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 P A L, principal, P L E. Principal means is the head of the institution. Principal means the ideals that we follow in our life. So both are pronounced in a similar way, but the meaning changes. Principal is different from principal. So here, they will give such type of pair of words, I mean five in numbers. So you have to frame sentence for each word in that particular section. So that is for 10 marks. And seventh section has been divided into two subsections, A and B. A letter to the officials on public issues. So you have to write a letter to one of the public official. So they will give you two letters out of two, you have to choose one. And second subsection B, interpretation of notices and instructions. So in public places, you see so many instructions. For example, no parking, no smoking, mobiles prohibited, no trespassing. So all these are public instructions and notices. So they will give you two such public instructions. Suppose no parking and the examination how to explain that particular notice. Generally, where do you find that notice? And what are the things that you have to follow by seeing that notice? So these are the things you have to write in interpretation of notices and instructions. And the last section is pressy writing. Pressy writing means they will give you a passage or a paragraph a long paragraph or a passage and you have to minimize that paragraph in simple sentence. I mean, you have to write that paragraph in a concise way so that it carries the gist of that entire paragraph. 
So, proceed writing means reducing that paragraph into four or five sentences, or it may be seven or eight sentences, up to eight sentences. So, this is proceed writing. So, these are the eight sections which are there in your question paper. So, now I think you got an idea about your syllabus pattern as well as your question paper pattern. So, by this, I am going to end this session. Thank you. Thank you all for listening to this session.